last topic that we're going to talk about today, guys. What are you doing? What are you doing with your free time? Apparently, some people are spending their free time working another full-time job and getting their ass fired. <laughs> some people are working a, another full-time job, not showing up on time, getting their ass fired. <laughs> Oh, guys, but what are you seriously doing with your free time? Think about that. That's another question that I have for you guys as well, too. You know, you're working remote. No longer you're, are you in a car for two hours a day, hour there, hour, hour there, hour back. What are you doing? You know, if you are working fully remote. What is up, Ladder Clemens? I wanted to interrupt this video to talk about coaching. Yes, you need a career coach. Why do you need a career coach? Why? Because the job market is always changing and with the job market always changing you need to have the latest and greatest information in order for you to apply and get the job that you want number two you need confidence and clarity there's so many jobs out there there's so many positions out there whether you want to switch into tech or healthcare there's so much out there and with so much information you need to be able to have clarity on what it is that you really want to do and ultimately have the confidence to do so and number three you need to be able to sell yourself guys you really need to be able to sell yourself and a lot of times we come in with a whole bunch of humility well when you're approaching a new job and seeking a new job you need to be able to sell yourself so guys go ahead and book your coaching session today www blkheights.com again www.blkheights.com you have to think about you know two years ago when you commuted and you didn't have the time to do certain things in your life like work out potentially or you know brush the kids teeth or whatever it is right what are you doing with that extra two hours that you have are you spending more time watching netflix YouTube, probably, probably. You saw when people had more time on their hand, YouTube channels exploded, Netflix subscriptions exploded. That's what I think people spend their time on. I can tell you this, for me personally, man, that's when I started to make more money as well too, right? In both places, W2 as well as, you know, Black Heights, as well as, you know, real estate business. Because I spent more time thinking about ways that I can improve myself to get to where I am right now and know that I have a long way to go. However, it has proven to be successful for me. In my mind, that is. Let's talk about remote work and giving people more free time. Here's what they have been doing with it all right we're going to hit this article i'm gonna read through it many people now spend a lot less time commuting as a result of the shift to remote work but what are they doing with this time that they previously spent at the office or on the road researchers from the federal reserve bank of new york have found that workers across multiple age brackets are sleeping more pursuing more leisure activities and cutting overall work hours wow 50%, 15% of full-time employees work fully remote, while 55% are full-time at the office and 30% are hybrid. In aggregate, Americans spend 60 million fewer hours traveling to work each day. That's a lot of time. And they found that employed individuals allocate their saved commute time towards leisure activities and sleeping while reducing overall work hours. Wow, leisure activities. Hmm. Before jumping to the conclusion that remote workers are shirking more, it should be noted that the researchers use the data to illustrate how one hour of foregone commute time is allocated towards other activities, okay? First, we find a substantial fall in time spent working. The decrease in hours worked away from home is only partial offset by an increase in working at home. Our results suggest that although individuals may have increased time working in a precise time slot they used to commute, overall paid work hours fell because Substitution towards other activities throughout the day. Mm. So more people are finding other things to do during, during the day instead of sitting down and working as well. Such as going for walks, right? The analysis did find that remote workers do spend more time on both leisure and sleeping. Younger Americans reported spending more time at social events, eating at restaurants, bars, and exercising. Older age groups allocated more time to childcare. 
household chores and repairs and meal preparation. You know, that's actually good. That's actually good. I love that. Okay. Social events, eating at restaurants, bars, exercising. Hmm. It's great. It's great. Now, if you're not doing any of that stuff, you're just sleeping. You're lazy. Point blank. I said it. You're lazy. If you're not getting out there, socializing, meeting people, building a network, you're lazy. And you're probably broke as well, too, if you're not going out eating at restaurants and stuff like that. Older age, allocating more time to childcare. That's important. It's family. Household chores. Making sure your house is nice and tidy. That's important. Making repairs, right? Fixing those gutters. Cleaning those leaves out those gutters. Meal preparation. Eating healthy. Those are all good things, guys. All good things. The findings will likely add to a growing tension between CEOs and workers over what the new norm should be. While workers claim to be as productive when working from home, most business leaders don't trust their remote workers and want them back in the office. Mm. It's led to senior execs getting productivity paranoia, which threatens the future of hybrid work. According to Microsoft, some employers are now raising alarms about overemployment, where workers are taking on two or more full-time jobs. The article that we just talked about. On the other hand, the number of sick days have fallen for many companies because work from home has raised the bar for what counts as being sick. But these most recent findings also mean that workers will begin or likely bargain hard to retain the benefits of a flexible work arrangements discovered during the pandemic. And bosses, particularly those having trouble filling vacancies, will need to consider if they plan to work or force people back into the office to do daily commutes. Because I can tell you this right now, if I had to work in a culture or an office every single day, I won't be at that company. I won't be at that company. Our results show important relationships in uh, time of use. The findings uh, lead credence to the various reports and employees' preferences for flexible work arrangements. Given that cutting the commute enables people to spend time on other activities such as childcare or leisure, this added benefit of working from home for those who want it will be important consideration for the future of flexible work environments. So guys, there it is. There it is. People are spending more time with their families. People are spending more time socializing, going out to events, eating at restaurants, going to bars, turning up. <laughs> turning up. These people must have got a whole bunch of money. They go into restaurants and bars all the time. That's good. I love that. You know, older generation is spending more time with the child, healthcare, fixing the you know, stuff around the house, preparing meals, right? That's good. Now, if you're not doing any of that stuff and you're just sleeping more, watching Netflix, not getting ahead, complaining, watching YouTube, going down a whole bunch of BS that doesn't really exist and the real world is outside, but yet you're finding yourself not getting ahead because you are steady watching Netflix and watching all this you know, negative content online, that's your own problem. That's your own problem. You need to be ladder climbing. That's what you need to be doing. You need to be ladder climbing like the ladder climbers in this chat right now and the ladder climbers in the community. You be doing this over here. You riding on boats. I went to go check out the boat yesterday, me and my son. When my daughter was in school, I went to go check it out, make sure it's all in the right shape. Now we have it in outdoor storage, getting ready to put it in indoor storage. We're climbing, guys. We're getting there. We're making the money and all. If you want to be part of a community that gets to this money and ladder climb, become part of the Patreon. Okay? Become part of the Patreon. We'll meet you at the top. We got a lot of people climbing right now, including myself, every single day. Right? Every single day. That's what we do. That's why we make more money than the average. That's why we live a better life than the average. Many of us are in the 1%. Many of us are in the 5%. Okay? We get it done. We care about family, right? We have a good time. Become part of the Patreon. That's what we do. We ladder climb, guys. Check out the Patreon. Link in the description. Link in the chat as well, too. Miss Wade put it out there. 